This is your boy EJ from EJCashSports.com. And this is week six of me and Coach Pickles. It's week seven of the regular season. We're doing stuff a little different this week. We're going to just pick our upset picks, our bumbo, and also our game of the week. And the rest of our picks will be in the description below. We're going to go ahead with our game of the week, which is the Broncos versus the Colts. I think it's unanimous. The Broncos are going to win this one. Peyton Manning's upset. He's a man on a mission. And um, as great as the Colts pass, pass rush is right now, we got MC Hammer at, at quarterback in, in Denver, and he cannot be touched. And so I'm going to go ahead and give the nod to the uh, Broncos. I'm giving a nod to the Broncos in this one. Peyton real big, you know. Basically, you cut, you cut him from, from his team that he started with to bring in some type of new guy. He's going to come in and dominate this one. Broncos big. All right. We also have two upset picks. Me and Kobe didn't agree. I had mine. He tugged one way. I tugged one way. Ultimately, we came up with two different uh, – picks so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go with the uh my game is gonna be the texans over the chiefs all you guys probably link back you know center your computer chairs or whatever but honestly the reason i say that is you got the chiefs who had the best pass turnover defense in the league right they got the best pass turnover defense they're turning them into points they got you know a guy with seven and a half um, sacks a guy with six and a half sacks they can't be blocked but guess what if you're not passing they're, they're, they're no longer a factor you know they're no longer a factor and you're talking about uh, the Texans who's going to have a young quarterback in Aaron Yates what do you do to protect young quarterbacks you lean on the running game you got one of the best running games in the league to lean on I think Aaron Foster is going to keep the game uh, close and in that in that close situation the only difference between the Chiefs from last year we know they can run the ball they're still running the ball well and now all of a sudden they're passing the ball well well guess what you got the best turnover defense for the Chiefs, but you got the best passive defense in the league, in the whole NFL period, with the Texans. They're going to slow down uh, Smith enough to give the nod to the Texans. I think the Texans are going to go in and upset them at Arrowhead. All right, they coming to my upset pick. It's a Thursday night game. Yes, I'm picking the Cardinals. Seahawks give up 17 points at least on average to the, when they're away to the opposing team. And also, I love what them young DBs is doing in Arizona. The Honey Badgers over there having one of the best defensive rookie seasons. And I also love what Patrick Peterson's doing. And he's going to be able to, I believe, Patrick Peterson will be able to shut down Sidney Rice. And let's be honest, nobody can shut down or stop Fitzgerald. He's coming back. And, you know, he's getting healthier and healthier. I believe he's going to have a real good game. I'm sorry, Patrick Sherman. Fitzgerald's going to show you up. And well, there is no disagreement on this because this is our bumbo. Bumbo! This is our bumbo! Bumbo of the week. We got the Vikings versus the Giants. Wow. Uh, AP, if you can run the ball the way we know you can run it, I want to give you the nod. You know, <laughs> but. Uh, I mean, when it comes down to AP and a Manning, it's like, well, at least I, I, you got to go with the Manning, I guess. You got to go with the quarterback, right? I'm going with the Manning in this one because they had trouble stopping the pass game. Right. But this is like picking the bum by the store or picking the bum on the side of the highway. They're full-fledged bums. They've been bumming for a while. And um, with that being said, it is time to like, comment, and subscribe to our shit. And we'll see you guys next week. We out.